What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be celebrating Throwback Thursday, reviewing a very old ball, the Forza Redline. Now the Forza Redline came out all the way back in 2015, but we're gonna be reviewing it because I got my hands on a undrilled one. So the Forza Redline features the Torx core, which more recently was featured on the Covert Tank. And then it has the Helix Pearl cover that comes out of box at a 5,000 grit laser scan polish. And then the layout on this Forza Redline is 45 by four and three quarters by 30. Uh, the last time I threw a Forza Redline was five, six years ago, and I threw the ball completely different than I did then. So I'm really looking forward to see if I like it now, because before, to be honest, I didn't really match up with it. So hopefully this time I'll like it a whole lot more. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys have ever drilled a Forza Redline or if you're still throwing the Forza Redline and what you're thinking about it so far. Down below in the description, I have a link to my Patreon and I invite each and every single one of you guys to join. I'm gonna take you guys out on the lanes now for this Throwback Thursday review of the Forza Redline. This is gonna be the first shot here with the Forza Redline. Now this ball came out in about 2015, I wanna say. So the ball's about six years old. Even, I just drilled it yesterday, so it's brand new to me, but it's about a six year old technology. Now this is typically the core cover combos that I like, where it's a stronger core, a little bit weaker of a cover, for today's technology. Six years ago, this ball was really strong. So a lot of friction here at South Point. Now I can't get the ball going too much to the right or it falls off. So here we go. First shot here, Forza red line. I like that. I like that a lot. I kind of came around that a little bit more than I wanted to and left a, a pretty flat 10 pin. So I'm gonna move right off that shot a little bit, see if I can kick out that 10 pin. I'm really thinking that this Forza Redline can be kind of a go-to ball once I encounter a lot of friction. Now this is a topic I don't really cover too much on the channel, but I really like the aesthetics of this ball. I like this bright yellow ball with the bright red uh, logo, even though that does nothing for ball motion. So we're gonna move a little bit further right, see if I can kick out that 10 pin. Oh, almost sent over a messenger, wrapped another dime. I guess this is the big problem with throwing the older technology is that I've labeled two straight shots and got absolutely hosed two shots in a row. I'm gonna move a little bit further right again, see if I can kick out that 10 pin. Now I will say the one thing that I'm really liking, what I'm seeing so far, is just how clean this ball is. It doesn't wanna read the front part of the lane almost at all. So that has some definite advantage in my eyes. So I'm gonna move a little bit further right again, see if I can slap out that 10 pin. Yeah, there we go. I moved a little bit further right with my feet. I may have missed a little bit left, uh, definitely missed a little bit left, but the ball got down lane, came around, came around the corner and went through the pins pretty nicely. I'm gonna throw a couple more shots from that area before I start moving left, start moving right, to see where we can play on the lane with this Forza red line. So I'm three shots in with this red line. This is gonna be my fourth one. And the one thing that I, I already can't wait to do is to knock the shine off this ball, make it a little bit smoother, make it read a little bit more in the oil. So again, here I'm standing at around 27 with my feet. Remember, I do drift to the right. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good, especially when you consider that it's a six-year-old ball. The ball wants to get through the fronts and it's actually reading the friction pretty hard, which is a good thing. It's exactly what you want to see out of a pearl ball. So I'm gonna move, actually I'm gonna throw one more shot in the same spot. So I think I really found the money zone with this red line here at South Point on today's condition. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are liking this Throwback Thursday edition of this ball review. So we'll throw one more shot here from this spot before I start making big changes. Yeah, really good shot. I'm really starting to see it hook a little bit more, which is why I left that four pin. All in all, I like what I'm seeing. So for the next couple shots, I'm actually gonna move way to the right and see kind of like I do like my versatility test, but I only have one red line, so I can't really compare it to anything, just kind of comparing it to itself. So these next two shots you're gonna see with a red line are gonna be from way straighter than I've been playing. 
um, just to see if that's even an option with this ball. Remember, I am bowling on a typical hot shot, so there's a lot of friction to the right. So I'm gonna go all the way to 20 with my feet and trying to keep the ball a little bit further in front of me. Wow, oh my God, that looked really good. And again, I think that's because the cover is, and I don't wanna keep bashing that in about the cover being older or whatever, but when you take these older technology bowling balls and play a little bit straighter, it looked really, really good. So I'm gonna throw one more shot from there and see before I make a big move to the left. So we're at the halfway point now of the video. And I gotta say, I really like this red line from a little bit straighter more than I did shaping it a little bit so far. But I'm gonna throw another shot from that same spot, 20 at my feet, the ball in front of me, it looked really good. Yeah, and then the, co the core really took over on that shot. I missed left a little and the ball absolutely did not stay in line. So I'm actually gonna throw one more shot from there where I get the ball going to the right a little bit before I make a big change. So this red line is really the kind of ball that I would play in this zone with, a little bit straighter. I like that if I get the ball right, it doesn't wanna over jump the friction. The big thing that I am seeing though is that that last shot I missed left and it hooked quite a bit. So it's gonna really force me to be a little bit more accurate but I'm okay with that if I'm playing a little bit straighter. So I'm gonna throw one more shot here from 19, 20 with my feet before I make a big change and move way left. Yeah, a little slow, a lot of friction to the right and left a pretty nasty Greek church. So now I'm gonna move way left and see if I can get the ball to come back from a little bit further left. So I'm gonna have to retract my previous statement about the red line being a little bit better from straighter. So far, I like it a lot from that middle part of the lane, just because I have to be too accurate from further right because of the amount of friction there is. So now we're gonna go all the way left. I'm here about 35, 36 of my feet and see if I can get this ball to get around the corner. Yeah, that was really good. I mean, little flat 10 that got kicked out. I like what I see from there. So I'm gonna throw another shot from that same part of the lane. And that's typically the weak part of my game. So as I develop it, I think this ball could be a useful tool in my arsenal. So the one thing I'm always searching for out of any bowling ball is I'm always searching for that one ball that'll let me play super far to the left when I need to. Now I'm not saying that this is the ball or not, but that's just one thing I'm always looking for. I like what I see out of the first shot that I threw. So we're gonna stay there, see if I can repeat that. So that was a very telling shot because I missed left and off my hand I thought, oh, that's just gonna scoop forever. And it didn't, it actually wanted to pick up in the middle part of the lane. That's a really good thing that the ball has the guts to really hook from that much oil in the middle. So the next shot, I'm really gonna make sure I get it going to the right. So I really just wanna make sure that I don't miss left like I did on the last shot and see what this ball really has. So again, that 35, 36, I might even go to 37, just make sure I get the ball going to the right. Yeah, and then I five count through the middle. So that part of the lane with the Forza red line, also no, no. I gotta tell you, uh, it's 8, 12 in the morning and uh, I'm pretty much regretting drilling this Forza red line, if I'm being honest. It's not a bad ball. I just, uh, I'm not in love with what I'm seeing right now. So be, this will be the last shot of the video and I'm not gonna stay as far left because it really wasn't there. The ball for me didn't look all that great from left. Didn't look all that great for me from right. It looked okay from the middle part of the lane. Now I'm not bashing on it. It's just here at South Point on today's oil pattern that they put out, which is supposed to be just a typical house shot, just not that ball for me right now. And I just got done filming the Desert Tank uh, comparison that you guys are gonna see on Sunday. And the Desert Tanks looked phenomenal on this lane. So, well, Desert Tank looks good on everything. So I'm gonna be at 27 with my feet here, and hopefully this will be the one right here.
Yeah, you know, from that middle part of the lane, it actually looks really, really good. So what I'm seeing so far is that in a vacuum, it looks really, really good. Meaning from that part of the lane, it looked phenomenal. But when I got a little bit too far right, it wanted to hook too much because of the friction. And then when I really chased it left, it wanted to kind of push forever. And then if I missed left, it hooked a ton. So from those zones, it didn't look all that good, but it looked really, really good from that middle part of the lane. So we'll see if this ball will stay in my arsenal for the future. Um, but like I said, in a vacuum, it looked really, really good. Overall, I probably uh, would not be adding this ball into my arsenal until next time. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my in-depth review of this oldie but goodie, the Forza Redline. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more Throwback Thursday ball reviews like this in the future. Click right here to watch my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time.